Taylor with a hard count and Fresno State almost jumped. They'll give it to Muema. Cuts up the middle and he's close, but I don't know. It's going to depend on the spot. Very close to a first down, but he did not get it. Carr makes the call at the line. Here comes some more pressure, but a pocket for Carr who throws. He's got Burrs who jumps up and he made the catch. What a play by Isaiah Burrs. 25 yards in the first down. Well, they fake the pressure and they back out to play coverage, but the perfect throw. Look at the touch on the football. Look at Burst going up and high pointing it and competing 19 attempts. But this is when you should have an advantage against spread teams. It's a Wildcat kind of look. Burst takes a direct snap. Isaiah Burst gets to the edge, lunges, and Burst is in. Touchdown. The officials wanted to talk about it and make sure. I think they wanted to make sure he stayed in bounds. He did 10 yards for the first points of the game. And that's one of the wrinkles that offensive creditor Dave Schramm will give you down here tight is they give it to him in the Wildcat burst. And you see the explosion able to turn the corner and leap into the end zone. Looked like San Diego State strung that play out enough, but his athleticism, we'll see if he steps out of bounds. He is in bounds. What a move. And the score on the first part of this game. San Diego State has moved the ball pretty effectively after their first drive, which was a three and out. Taylor throws short, and the pass is caught by the fullback Young for a very short game. The ball came out, but he was down. Carl Mickelson, the linebacker, in on the hit. Moema back in the backfield. The play fake to Moema, and then Taylor is sacked back at the 10. And there's Adro Edoraine, who's been a big pass rusher for Fresno State. Edoraine coming off the edge right here. You're going to see him get the pressure on the play action, come inside the tight end, defeat the block, and right up the middle. Quinn Kaler, nowhere to go with the football. Huge sack for Fresno State. So the loss of nine, the Bulldogs third in college football in tackles for loss, negative plays on defense. The junior running back Adam Moema still in the game. They'll fake the ball to Moema. Has to actually throw the ball a lot. This pass is intercepted. What an interception there. Great play, and it's Donovan Lewis again. The linebacker looking like a cornerback going up and snatching the ball from Kaler. And you'll see Donovan Lewis again making plays just like we talked about. See the protection is there, the blitz is there. They're going to pick it up here, give Kaler time to throw the football. But then you'll watch the depth in the drop and reading of the eyes by Donovan Lewis. Nice job of making the play. Could be four down territory. We'll see. Back to pass. Kaler pressured and brought down. Behind the line of scrimmage, it's a Bulldog sack. And there he is. Zetoraine gets more pressure and another sack on the quarterback. And you see they're going to bring double-edge pressure off the edges. Again, the back has one, and the other outside backer beats the left tackle. You'll see it right there. It's Zetoraine again coming off the edge. How physical they need to be against this bubble screen game of Fresno State. Here's the handoff. Martez Waller. And Waller powers his way for a first down across the 30 out toward the 32. Even these spread offenses, you have to have some element and a piece of your run game as a part of your offense. And here is Waller again to hammer, and then they've got the speed in Pumphrey. And they get the speed in there. Pumphrey's going to take the pitch play coming right side, cuts back, trying to get away, and he loses yardage. So that ends up going backwards by a yard or two. And you'll see the white jerseys of Fresno State. It's just a quick pitch outside. They're trying to outflank him. Crack back, get some lead blockers in front, but watch the pursuit of that defense of Fresno State. Lots of white jerseys hammering the football. Carr, quick release, and the pass is caught by Adams, and he's got the first down. Great throw, maybe the best of the game for Derek Carr, and Devontae Adams did the rest. Yeah, again, Carr knows there's pressure coming. They're playing games with the line of scrimmage. And he's going to get the ball to his big time wide receiver, make the catch for the conversion. Be four down territory for the Bulldogs. 
Well, running back is Kazada. They'll give it to Josh Kazada. He's got the first down and more. Still on his feet. Into the secondary. 15 and down to the 10. What a run for the BYU transfer. Josh Kazada, 20 yards. When you start paying so much attention to the perimeter and that bubble and slip screen game outside, it's easy to over pursue the running back when they sneak in a handoff to him. And that's what happened to the San Diego State defense again. Break tackles, missed tackles. Now they're inside the 10. Carr on first down toward the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown. Devontae Adams. Another one for Adams, his 12th of the year. And the Bulldogs are an extra point away from tying the game. They get the matchup they want outside, man to man coverage. Devontae Adams at six foot two is going to elevate and make the play over the shorter defensive back, David Lamar, for the touchdown. Was his left foot out of bounds? Very see close. That again. I think the right foot the right was foot down was first. In. Yes. I think the right foot was down first. And the extra point with Colin McGuire is up, and it is good. And what a drive at the right time for Fresno State. The pressure on. 11 plays, 85 yards, and the touchdown. Gut check time for this Fresno State offense. Derek Carr and Devontae Adams come through, and they go up for this game right now. Taylor in the shotgun. He's going to give it to Puffrey. Tries to make a move, and there's nothing there. The big tackle by Fresno State. Excellent play. And I think the Aztecs are going to have to give the ball back, but we'll see. That was Charles Washington in run coverage. Charles Washington came flying up on the play before, missed the tackle this time. He is there and secures the tackle and does it with a little attitude, too. For Derek Carr and company, tie game into the fourth quarter. Carr has some time this time. He'll throw deep middle, and he's got his man at midfield. Harper still on the move. Inside the 30, another missed tackle to the 25-yard line. Josh Harper, 50 yards, first down, Fresno State. Love it quite so much. Carr, lob, Adams, caught, touchdown. What a catch. Another one for Devontae Adams. Fresno State back in front. He is one of the best wide receivers in the country, and he's showing why. Watch the touch off his back leg by Derek Carr, putting a great touch on the ball for Devontae Adams to high point the football. He is in. That's a touchdown. He takes advantage of the shorter King Holder. Fourth and six. Down by a touchdown. Taylor. The pressure throws, and it's caught for a first down. Ruffin. Inside the 25, the ball was stripped away there at the end of the play. And Fresno State thinks they have the ball. Ezel Ruffin with another big catch. They have not blown the play dead. And the Bulldogs do have the ball. It's at Arene. Still going. And are they going to call this a touchdown? They do. Unbelievable. Everybody basically stopped. And Arene came out of there with the ball, and he didn't stop. Ended up returning it 79 yards for a touchdown when it looked like the fourth down play was a first down for the Aztecs. But the officials the say Ruffin was, and I guess Ruben it is. On the field is a fumble and a touchdown. I mean, he definitely fumbled the ball. Watching that replay, the ball was coming out. And they never blew the whistle. Everybody stopped playing, but that ball was coming loose. Wow, it was. We'll see. And again, ruled a fumble on the field. The ball is not blown dead. The ball is out. Ruffin thinks he is down. Heads up play. Ederane almost Ederane. ran out of bounds there. It's not that heads up when you almost run out of bounds. And he was dancing and celebrating. Finally realized the whistle hadn't blown. And he just took off and kept going. So that did not look good all the way around. Finally. Adro Ederene got the idea that the play was not dead, and then he took off. And we'll watch it again, but that ball's coming out. There's no question that, that's a fumble. That ball is out. It is a fumble. Rough and fighting for extra yards. Had already, he had the fourth down conversion, just didn't maintain possession of the football. 
And that ball is out. Looks like the knee of Ed Arene causes that fumble. Well, just a totally bizarre play. Ruffin, meanwhile, was trying to say that he was down, but I just don't know how you could say that he was down. The ball was coming out. I thought he was down at first, too, until we looked at that replay. Because I think partly because the reaction of the players around the ball. Everything kind of just stopped. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Fumble and a touchdown for the state. Amazing. Dog dreams of an undefeated season, a BCS bowl berth. That's on the line. Waller, nice run across the 30. Brought down from behind, but he gets seven yards on first down for Fresno State. Never made a field goal in his San Diego State career. If he makes one here, the Aztecs win. 37 yards. The hole, the kick on the way, and it was deflected, and it falls up short. No good. Kick was blocked. And this game will go to overtime. Fresno State, for the moment, has survived. Amazing. They are alive. We'll see how low the kick was. The snap was good. The hold was good. And look, we'll see who gets it. Number 89 with the vertical hand perfectly placed from Fresno State. Marcel Jensen, the tight end. He's the one of the tallest guys on the team, and he gets it. And it did indeed, Coach Long, get blocked. And McMorrow can't believe it. He still has not made a kick now. He may well be leaned on in overtime, because that's where this game is going, and the kicker could be so, so huge in overtime. We've seen that over and over in college football. Today we've seen it. That still first down. You can get first downs, of course. Carr with plenty of time flushed out to the right. He's going to throw short. He's got Waller to the 30, to the 20. Waller to the 15 and tackled inside the 15. It's a first down. He got 27 yards on that pass play. Martez Waller. The open. Carr, a little pump fake and a shovel pass to Waller. He's got the first down, lunging for the goal line. He stopped just short. Man, what a nifty play for Fresno State. Martez Waller with the little shovel pass from Derek Carr. They'll get to the line very quickly, get set up, and hand the ball to Waller, and he is in. Touchdown. The quick tempo, they punch it in from a half a yard out, and Fresno State does indeed get the touchdown here in overtime. Still in the backfield, the fullback Chad Young. Malema gets the handoff, trying to bounce it right, and he is gang tackled and maybe pushed back for a loss of a yard. A guy who's been such a big playmaker at Arine, who had the long fumble return for a touchdown that was a huge play. He brought Malema down. And the block field goal by Jensen that allowed the Bulldogs to survive here to overtime. One play away on defense from winning it. And the Aztecs, they need about five yards. Every time they need the play, they've gone to Ruffin right there. We'll see if they do that again. Quinn Kaler looking middle with plenty of time. Throws toward the end zone. Tipped up and incomplete. And Fresno State has survived. Deron Smith, who was hurt earlier, back in the game, makes the play to win the game. The Bulldogs stay undefeated. Their BCS hopes are alive. Fresno State 7-0, 35-28 in overtime.